Hello from Omaha, Nebraska, on this brisk fall evening. A little, little chilly, but beautiful. And we're talking about the Nest Cam with Floodlight. In our last video, we did a setup and installation of this bad boy. And I told you we'd come back with a full review. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. What up, everybody? It's George Langenbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk tech and we talk security. And with this guy here, we got a little bit of both. Like I said in the intro, in our last video, we did a setup and installation of this camera. And we wanted to give ourselves some time to uh, test it out and see what it's all about before we did a full review. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the camera. We're going to talk about the light. Talk about the design and functionality and, and what we think in general. So... Let's start with the camera itself. So the camera is the same as the indoor outdoor Nest Cam battery. It's just a little bit, uh, it's got a little different uh, attachment to the camera, but that's really the only difference. So we still got the 1080p, we still got the same general features, but we're adding the floodlight. So I guess just to get started, as far as the design of the camera, I guess one of my only question marks is the fact that it's still a magnet mount and why they just didn't permanently attach it. Now, because you're not really charging the battery because it's it's part of the electrical, that's kind of the benefit of the floodlight. It's You're installing it with electrical. So I wonder why they didn't make it a permanent part of the, part of the camera, part of the whole fixture. Um, they do have this tether here with the security screw, which I'm showing here. But, um, so it's, it's a little harder to steal than it is just the regular battery option. But I still wonder why they did it that way. But it looks great. The design of it's great. This camera's a good-looking camera, just like the indoor-outdoor battery cam. Um, it looks great with the floodlight. I just wonder why they did that. As far as the features go, you know, if you've used the indoor-outdoor uh, battery camera, it's the same thing. It's 1080p. And just like everybody else out there, I do wonder why Nest didn't do a 4K option. But uh, you can see here the video is still great. Um, it's got a white great wide shot of this yard and um, just like you I do wish it was 4k but for what it is it's a great camera um, you know and then with when you add the uh, you know the the night vision on the indoor outdoor battery camera is not the greatest but in this case with the floodlight it's awesome and as far as that goes I'm kind of taking this this we're at my parents house if you watch my old video or the, the last video you, you saw that we're at their house I didn't have the fixture to install this so we're also not only basing this on what I've seen, I do have access to their cameras. They let me do that just for testing purposes. So I've been able to play with it myself, but I'm also going off of what they said about it, which is just your normal homeowner and what they think about this camera, which by the way, they're very impressed. They love the light and I'm very impressed with the light. Also, we're, we're in the daylight here. We're going to hang out here until the nighttime. I'll show you what the light's all about. But myself, like them, one of my biggest complaints about spotlight cameras or floodlight cameras is they're supposed to be awesome floodlights in addition to having a great camera. I haven't been impressed, especially like the ring spotlight, things like that. They advertise it to just light up a yard. They've never done that. This one actually lights up this yard, which we'll show at night here shortly. So very impressed with the light. Um, and then as, as in the installation video, you kind of see the flexibility of being, I know some people were asking in the comments about the flexibility of moving this light. You do have quite a bit of flexibility to move it. Uh, the camera is fully adjustable on that magnet mount, just like the indoor-outdoor battery camera. Um, but the lights have quite a bit of flexibility. And, um, you know, here in a second, we'll kind of show you the, the, the shot of this camera. But it lights up this whole section of the yard very nicely. And so 600 lumens does the job. And definitely more impressed with that than I have been with any other floodlight camera I've looked at. So... And then as far as the actual design goes, I think it's very sturdy. It's very well made. Like I said, my only question mark is the camera being removed, but otherwise it's just all very well made. It feels very um, sturdy and can't, can't complain about the design other than that detachable camera. But yeah, so we'll kind of come back at night and kind of show you uh, how it works in the pitch black back here. It is very dark back here in normal circumstances. Uh, one of my uh, my parents have also commented that they're very happy with the camera itself as far as the blind spot back here. 
Uh, we've tried the microphone. The microphone works very well, which we'll test. We'll kind of demonstrate here in a second as well. But, um, but yeah, so let's wait till it gets dark and we'll be back. Okay, so here we are in the dark. The only thing we got going on is a little house in the or a little light on in the house, which is kind of your typical situation. So we're going to kind of give you some test shots here. I'm going to start with this one, which will just see what happens behind me when I turn it on. And I can, again, turn it on manually. But as Teresa walks over there. Pretty much lights up that whole half of the yard. And the only thing that's stopping it from lighting up the entire yard is this deck. And as my stepdad just told me, it's about a 75 foot lot. And if the deck wasn't there, pretty much light up the whole thing. And bam, I'm lit up. Like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at it. It's actually a pretty good light. So here we are back here in the nighttime at my parents' house. Want to see what it is in its natural conditions. Averages, average house, average homeowner. But uh, so this is kind of on their lower patio. And they got an upper deck up there, a little yard over there. This was kind of their one blind spot in their yard. But, I mean, if you look behind me, there's a golf course back there hard to see probably here from the camera but the light actually goes all the way down the hill very expensive view you can see here on the uh, camera shot I'm showing you how it looks you know from the actual app but it looks pretty good so even in the 1080p quality it's pretty well lit up on the camera here and uh, yeah so the parents both said that they were very impressed by it. Actually, when my stepdad came out here, if you look at our uh, video on the uh, installation, the bracing of, he wasn't joking. It was actually a real reaction to the light coming on. So, and his exact words were, if I were a burglar, as soon as that lit me up, I'd be out of here. And I, I agree with him. So again, compared to the ring spotlight, much brighter. brighter. Ring floodlight, much brighter. Um, other floodlights I've tried, Eufy, much brighter. I mean, just looking at it, I'm kind of blinded. Other normal uh, spotlight cameras, that doesn't happen. So, other than the lighting, while we're out here, let's try the microphone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. So, yeah, if, yeah I was, if I was... There's no delay, there's really. No delay, really. Maybe half Maybe a half millisecond? millisecond? I don't know. I don't know. A pretty good sound, pretty good sound. And, definitely, and definitely as far as the, as far as the audio of the, the camera, goes, camera goes i can hear that pretty well so when i go to the actual google home app and i'm listening i can hear me very clear so good audio wish it was 4k but what can you do 1080p still looks good uh, definitely with the light on you can see you know pretty much everything we're seeing right here uh, on this recording and then as far as the actual camera specs, you know, it's, it's like I said, indoor, outdoor battery camera, 1080p, same everything. Um, so in summary, I guess I kind of wish it was 4K, but it still looks good. I wish the light was, or the camera was attached to the light, but it does have the tether securing it. Nest will replace it if it's stolen. This is a little bit lower here than normally. We did this for the uh, demonstration. And again, just to cover a blind spot at the parent's house. But normally you'd have this light a little higher. So the, the whole, you know, being removable thing is not a big deal um, normally. But even here, it's got the tether. And you can have a beautiful face shot of anybody stealing it. Mm -hmm. And that's to replace it. <laughs> How much is this camera again, George? This one's 249 So it's a pretty good value for what you're getting. Pretty good value. The normal camera is $179. So you're paying a little bit more for the floodlight. But if you went to Home Depot or Lowe's, um, you know, for a good floodlight, probably paying about the same price. And one of the questions was, how long will the light last? Well, that's a good question, and obviously we can't figure that out until we test it. So I don't have the answer to that question. But a lot of people were asking me about how long it lasted. Can you use the floodlight all the time? And that's a very good question. So just to cover that again, if you go here to the app and you go to the settings of the camera, you've got, I'm sorry, go to the settings of the floodlight. You've got, in the Google Home app, you've got it separated. You've got the camera and you've got the light. So that's kind of cool. So you can manually turn it on anytime you want. But as far as automatic functions, 
Um, if you go to these settings, you've got the uh, what turns the floodlight on. And so you've got motion, live viewing. So as soon as you go to the camera live at night, it'll turn on. And then you've also got camera events, which is the people and such. So as soon as we walked down here, it came on. And the responsiveness of it was immediately. So as soon as you walk in view of that camera, this light has come on. And I've tried it from several different angles. In fact, it was a problem to get that light in the dark here when we wanted to start in the dark. But you saw it come on pretty much as soon as I started talking. So that's what turns the camera uh, or the floodlight on and off is you can do motion, live viewing, and the camera events. And then it's got a floodlight timer, so you can kind of determine between five minutes, three minutes, one minute. By, by default, it's 30 seconds, and then you've got the 10 second option. That's how long this floodlight will stay on after an event. So you've got some options there. And then the daylight sensor, you kind of change the sensitivity of when it knows that it, it went from daytime to nighttime. And so by default, by default, it's medium. I've tried all of these and it's pretty good. I mean, as soon as it starts getting dark out, this thing starts to work. Obviously during the day, it's not gonna come on because there's no need, um, but that's what the daylight sensor is all about. But yeah, so overall, very cool. And finally a floodlight I can stand behind as far as the actual light goes. And maybe next year, I, we just heard that they're coming out with a replacement for the Nest Hello which is now the Nest Wired Doorbell. And so that's coming in 2022. The, the Google has announced, so maybe another round of cameras in 2022, maybe some 4K, we'll see. But uh, again, really my only complaint would be the 1080p, otherwise a great camera. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this review. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. Let us know in the comments what you think. Did you buy one? Have you tried it at night? What's your conditions what's your circumstance what kind of house what kind of building you put it on let me know in the comments subscribe to the channel we enjoy having you here thank you very much for your support until the next video peace and love